So now that we have uh, a saved image on our desktop, we have ArtCam Express open, and what we're going to do is open that bitmap image and convert it into a vector. So I'm going to click on Open Model, and let's go to our desktop, where we should have our image that we saved, which was the Dragon file, and we're going to open that. So as you can see, when the bitmap image opens, we're going to have a set model size screen that's going to appear. Essentially what the set model size screen is going to try to do is it's you see that it's converting this uh, image from scan DPI into units that it can actually calculate, which is inches, because the CAD software uh, basically understands only um, units of measurement, which in this case would be millimeters or inches. So one of the things that we don't try to do is try to manipulate or change the size of this image as we import it. Uh, because right now our only objective is to basically convert this from a bitmap to a vector. So as you can see, we have a very large image here, over 600 inches by uh, over 300 inches. And there's a function in the software, as you can see up here, called bitmap to vector. So I'm going to click on that. So the first option that it's giving us is to reduce the number of colors. Now as you look at the image, it appears that it's two colors. But oftentimes as we click on reduce colors, we're a little surprised to find that there are several more than just two. In this case, there are 130 different colors in this image. Now, as I take this slide bar and begin to reduce the number of colors, two things will start to happen. If you look at the color palette on the bottom of the screen, you'll see that the colors are beginning to reduce. Basically, what's happening is it's taking the colors out of the image um, that are common and, and combining them to a single color. The other thing that you may see in some instances is that some detail in the image may actually drop off. In this case, that didn't happen because we were working with a black and white image. But if you were working with a color image, you might see some portion of this begin to disappear at some point because it's it's basically converting a color to its next closest color, which in some cases may be white. If that happens, then you can't take this down to two colors. Sometimes you have to stop at three or perhaps four colors. But ideally, you want to have the least number of colors as you can possibly reduce to without losing detail in the image. In this case, we're able to go all the way down to two colors, which is what we want. So now if we click OK, we've reduced our 130 uh, color grayscale image down to two. The next thing we're going to do is now just simply create the vectors. Now I'll make mention of these two settings here, speckle size and smoothness, although I rarely change them. The speckle size is basically a pixel filter. And the way we've got this set up right now is anything two pixels or smaller will be automatically deleted anything larger than that, and it will actually retain it. Uh, the other thing that we are not going to change typically is the smoothness. We've got it set at 75%. What that essentially means is that, if I just zoom in on this for a second, if you can see that the image is quite pixelated, what the smoothness is going to do is it's going to take these highs and lows of the pixelated image, and it's going to smooth them off and create nice machinable lines. What it's not going to do, however, is lose the corners, because we still want to retain the sharp corners. If I set the smoothness very low, then what it would do is it would tend to, um, to, to follow the, the, the pixelation, and so we'd get very jagged edges. If I set the smoothness very high, um, then what will happen is that it will smooth everything off, including the corners, and everything will be kind of rounded off, and it won't look quite as sharp. So what I find is that the, um, the settings, the, the default settings at 2 and 75 tend to work quite well. So I'm going to click on Create Vectors, and what you will have noticed is that it created vectors around the image. I use this contrast bar here at the top. If I reduce the contrast of the bitmap, you can see now that the bitmap has been um, converted to a vector, and all of the lines are now nice and smooth. So we've created nice smooth machinable lines. In fact, if I zoom in a little bit closer, you can really get a sense of what's taking place here. So now you see we've got nice smooth machinable lines. Uh, some of the corners a little bit rounded off, but that's because the image was uh, a touch on the low side at, at 600 by 300. Um, but this is probably very acceptable and would probably give us a nice image.